Hello everybody, my name is Dawana Edwards, and what I want to do tonight, I want to read to you some out of the Bible. Now, I'm not a preacher, and I'm just starting going to church again and stuff, but, and I don't know that much about the Bible. But I do know that um, Jesus died for us. On the, uh, on the cross and stuff. And I want to read you something tonight about love. Alright, everybody. Will y'all please turn to pay, to the first John. Chapter 4. Verses 7 and 12. I want to read it to you. I will give y'all a minute. So get ready, but then I want to read to you out, out of the Bible, okay? And I want to explain some stuff to you, too, as I'm reading it, or try to, because, because I think everybody needs to learn about God and Jesus, and if you can't go to church, there's a lot of people out there that can't go to church, old people, and they don't have no way to church and stuff. And, um, like me, I can't drive, but, um, there's a church in my neighborhood, I can walk to it. There's a church in my other neighborhood, I can walk to it, because I live with different people, I can walk to them, and stuff, and I've been walking to church here lately, and it feels good to learn about God, to know about God and stuff. So, what I want to read about tonight is love, because... And I want to talk about love, and talk about kids, and love, and about God, and Jesus, and stuff. Alright, everybody, turn to First John, chapter 4, and verse 7 through 12. I'm going to read it to you, and I'm going to stop some, and explain some stuff to you, okay? Thank you. Hold on a minute, everybody. I have to put glasses on because sometimes my it ain't that good. You know what I mean? Okay. Chapter four, seven through twelve. All right. Be loved. Let us love one another. For love is brings from God, and he who loves his fellow man is begotten, born of God, and is coming progressively to know and understand God, to perceive and recognize and get a better and clearer knowledge of him. All right, my book, my Bible, is um, a little bit different from y'all's. My Bible is a Joyce Myers Bible, so y'all can follow along and stuff, but mine's a Joyce My Byer Myers Bible. Anyway, that verse I just read about love is how God loves us and his fellow man. And if we love God, we are born of Him. We got God in us. We got Jesus in us. We're just born of God. I mean, we got Jesus in our hearts. You can feel Jesus right there in our heart, in my heart. I can feel it right now. Jesus is right in my heart. I can feel it. All right, all right. Let me let me go on. He who does not love has not become acquainted with God. Does not and never did know Him. For God is love. 
Hey, what's this talking about right there is? Sound like you don't love your neighbor. How can you love your neighbor? How can you not love your neighbor and then you love God? Or say like you got children. Some of these people today are killing their parents, they're killing their kids. How can they do that? I mean, you don't kill your kids. That ain't love. I mean, I see it on CNN and Fox News and Headline News and every day how parents have been killing their kids and stuff. And you ain't supposed to do that. If you love God, don't kill your kids. I mean, don't do that. You ain't supposed to kill nobody. You're supposed to sin. I mean, I know everybody sins every day, but the thing is, when you do sin, you pray to God that God will forgive you. And he likes to for people to pray for for forgiveness and stuff. But, I mean, like, if you don't love God, if you don't love your kids, if you don't love your neighbor, you don't love your sisters or brothers, how can you love God? I mean, we're all, God made us all. All right, let me go on to number nine right here. In um, verse nine, it says, In this the love of God was made manifest, displayed, where we are concerned in that God sent his Son, the only begotten or unique Son, into the world so that we might live through him. All right, now what we now what is happening now is God made God sent Jesus here for us. He tells us about Jesus. We need to learn about Jesus. We live for Jesus. We trust Jesus. Jesus died on the cross for us. Can you imagine being being nailed to the cross? With all those nails in you and stuff. I mean, Jesus went through lots of pain. He really did. I mean, he loves us. He loves our animals. See right here. I got a little dog right here named Pandy. Well, he ain't. She ain't my dog. She's my nephew's, my cousin's dogs and stuff. But how could you not love this dog? Hey, hello, Pandy. See? Hello, Pandy. Lookie. See, Pandy. She's a dog. She's real special. See, Pandy, she's a dog. She's real special. And I love Pandy. She's real nice. Can you imagine not loving that little dog? Or not loving a little kid and stuff? See, God wants us to love animals. He wants us to love us. He wants us to love everybody. All right, now let me go on. And that's what Jesus did for us. Jesus wants us to love. we got to love Jesus, too. Jesus. When we pray, we pray to Jesus. Okay? All right, now let me read number 10 for you. All right, and number 10 is this. And this is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be proportion to a atoning sacrifice for our sins. See, we sin a lot. And Jesus, he died on a cross for us because we sin. He loved us so much, Jesus did, that he died for our sins. That is very important. I believe in Jesus. And right, let me go to number 11. Beloved, if God loved us so very much, we also ought to love one another. All right. God loved us very much. So, why can't we love one another? There's people out there that we don't, that don't even look. They fight with their neighbors. They fight with their families and stuff. We need to love one another. Help one another out. 
Have you ever thought about going up to your neighbors or their old, there's old people there and seeing how they're doing? A lot of them's on auction. A lot of them's got dementia. My grandmother has dementia. A lot of them has cancer and everything. Can you imagine being old and not having nobody to come and see you or care for you and love you like God that, like God and Jesus loves us? We need to do that. Just go visit our go visit our our neighbors and stuff. See how they're getting along. See if they need anything and stuff. Go visit your family. See how they're getting along. Don't let them stop you from doing things. Okay? Alright. Number 12. No man has at any time yet seen God. But if we love one another, God abides, lives, and remains in us. His love, that love, which is essentially His, is brought to completion to its full maternity, runs its full course, is perfect in us, perfected in us. All right. We haven't seen God, but we love one another. And we love God, and we love Jesus, we love our animals, anybody. You know what? God is right there with us. He's right in our hearts. Because we know we got the love of God in our hearts and stuff. I mean, that is just wonderful to, have, to know we love one another. All right, let's turn now. There's another one I want to sing, do to you, read to you. It's about John. Chapter 13, in John, chapter 13, verses 34 and 35. I'm going to read that one to you. And I'll give you all time to get there, because i got to get there, too. Okay? Okay. I'm a mess there. I'm on chapter so I'm on John. Uh, I'm getting John. All right, let's go to, um, I'm on 13. Let's go to verse 34 and 35. And here it talks about love too. That's what I want to talk to y'all about tonight is love. All right, right here it says, number thirty-four. I give you a new command. I give you a new command that you should love one another, just as I have loved you. So you too should love. One another. Alright. God commands us to love. We need to love one another as we, as he loves us. That way, if we love one another like he loves us, we can be real, it feels real good in our heart. We can have lots of love and everything. God is great. Jesus is great. I love Jesus. Alright. Now let's go to 35. All right. This is, by this shall all men know that you are my 
disciples. If you love one another, if you keep on showing love among yourselves. Alright, there are seven disciples, right? Alright, by that, if we love one another, we need to go out and spread the word. God needs disciples to spread the word about love. He needs you to go out and spread the word about him, about Jesus and everything. If you go out and you spread the word about him, he will be there for you. He really will. I love God, and I know he loves us, and Jesus loves us. We need to do that every day, love one another, love God. And just think about one another. Let's pray. You want to pray? And then we will end this. And if y'all like how I preached, or I'm not no preacher, but if y'all like this, comment on it. Please comment. I'm asking y'all. Please comment on this. And tell me what y'all think about it. Thank you. All right, let's say this, and we will try to get saved. There's a lot of people out there that can't go to church. Oh, yeah, and also, I also wanted to talk about children, too. There's so many children out there today that need, well, we need to get in the church. There's children out there on drugs. You have children out there on drugs, children doing everything. Why don't we stop and listen to our teenagers, listen to them, even our young ones. Listen to them. Because they need all the love they can get. Some are in foster care and stuff like that. We need to get them back into church. If you have kids, please talk to them about the Lord Jesus and talk to them about Christ and get them back into church. Thank you. Thank you. That's all I want to say. And maybe you can get your kids out and maybe some of these kids that's on drugs try to talk to them and maybe... You can help them get off trucks. I'm done with that subject now. Now let's go. Now we're gonna pray. Uh, if you don't think you're saved or nothing, all you got to do is read this right here. I'm going to read it, and we'll all read it together. And we'll say after we get done. The most important, uh, I'm going to read this to you. The most important relationship of your life is a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. If you would like to receive him, as your Lord and Savior, and enter into the greatest relationship you have ever known. Please pray the prayer below. All right, let's pray this a prayer. Father, you led the world so much that you gave your only begotten Son to die for our sins, so that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Your word, your word says we are saved by grace through faith as a gift from you. There is nothing we can do to earn salvation. I believe and confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is your son and the savior of the word, world. I believe he died on the cross for me and bore all of my sins. Paying the price for them. I believe in my heart that you raised Jesus from the dead and that he is alive today. I am a sinner and I am sorry for my sins. And I ask you to forgive me by faith. I receive Jesus Christ now as my Lord and Savior. I believe that I am saved and will spend eternity with you. Thank you, Father. I am so grateful. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Now, if y'all said that, and if you want to, y'all can get saved. If you, I don't care where you're at. If you don't have a lady church, if you're not saved, and you want to get saved, please, watch this video. I'm going to try to start making more. If you want me to make more, please comment. And next time I'll do, uh, we'll read from the book of Revelations. Re Revelations, whatever. Revelations, Revelations. I can't say it, but we'll read there. And I'll start helping y'all. Thank you. Amen.